Hello the folks, it is CIJ Gaming and welcome to part 15 of our Neil Robertson Pro career on Snooker 19. And today we start the part of the season where things start to get very, very exciting. Today is the start of the D88.com European Masters held in Lommel in Belgium. And today, funnily enough, we play against Michael Georgiou in the first round. The Cypriot ranked at number 50. Funnily enough, I say this because Neil Robertson actually plays Georgiou in the first, first round of the World Snooker Championship and beat him 10-1. So something similar to that, of course, scaled down to the five-frame format, which would be absolutely perfect today. But as you can see, we're on a very inconsistent run. We've had, out of the last six, seven, uh, seven games, we've lost four of them. So we're on a sketchy run, and as a result of that, we have gone down to eighth in the rankings below Kyron Wilson. So it's really our job to make sure we win some prize money uh, and get back ahead of Kyron Wilson and back into that top seven. But I said it starts to get interesting here, as you can see, we've got the European Masters, and then after that we've got the English Open, of course, one of the Home Nation series, as well as the Scottish Open. Uh, we've got the Oppo uh, Championship, which we did qualify for off-camera, that was fairly easy, we won that 3-0. And then we've got the Champion of Champions, the UKs, the Scottish, as I talked about earlier, um, the German Masters, not going to compete in these Championship Leagues, so I don't really see the points. Uh, the Daffabet Masters... Uh, and things start to get very, very exciting. Of course, these being the European Masters, not the German Masters, which are held later on in the season. Uh, of course, in Germany, it sounds a bit thick to say that, but it is true. This is held in Belgium. So, not that massive in terms of prize money this match, but really, this event is looking to just try and get a return to form. Michael Giorgio, a solid player, proven by the fact he made it to the World Championships. Uh, was knocked out by Robbo, but that was Robbo at his best. And if you've seen us at any of the, any of the recent episodes in this season, you will know that we haven't really been at our best. But let's treat this as a new tournament. It's a new start, and hopefully we can do something. Hello and welcome to the first round of the European Masters. Another exciting week of snooker on the way. Yes, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing who picks up the trophy this week. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame... Michael Giorgio to break. So, Giorgio will break in this first frame. That's not too bad. The red's a little bit uh, broken open. So that could be a bit of a problem, but I don't think he's certainly left an easy pot on uh, for the start here. We'll just have a review our options. More likely than not to be a safety shot. Although the, the option of that pot is very tempted to break open the pack of reds. An interruption that... An interruption there, but for nothing more than to grab a cup of tea from downstairs. So I approve of that. I'm quite happy to interrupt the video just to go and get a cup of tea. But it is going to be this shot. We're going to play a safety here. Don't think there's any real issue with playing a safety. Yeah, that should be fine. And that is as finished as you could really get on the red there. And Giorgio again will play safety. It was crazy, really, in the last episode... There was a frame, the, uh, the third frame, I think it must have been, against uh, Liu Hoi Hoitan. But uh, there was about 16 minutes of solid safety. There was one or two pots, but nobody really got going. But it was just safety after safety, and it was crazy. But do we have a way through here at the start? We do. This could be the opportunity for a pot. It's going to have to be quite quick. Uh, just trying to think what we do positionally, coming back out of this. Just have to see it high, quite high hard and see what happens. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Really nice and the pot's the there. How's it going to end up? We're just about okay. And I think we're nicely on the pink, so a bit, out of get, a bit of a get out of jail free there in terms of being in the position for one of the reds. Pardon me. Uh, but yeah, that should be fine. Pink's into the middle. That's solid. And this is not a bad start here. Be good to get the first frame on the board. I don't want to be optimistic or too ambitious, but to get it in one visit would be fantastic. You know, our highest break, I'm guessing, for the last few matches hasn't eclipsed 50, which is a shocker, really. But we need to improve that today. Now, let's just try this blue into the middle. Nice and soft. Again, don't need anything too hard. And the blue... Ooh, is it going to miss? No, it's okay. It's dropped. And we've got position on a red into the middle, so... We're not off to the best start positionally. We've... Not played our best positional game, but that's not to worry about too much. The red's there. It's a good pot. Don't hit this yellow on the way back. Oh, Actually, it's okay because we are covered by the green. 14. But uh, quite a poor shot there. 
But we're off to a start. We've knocked six balls in in a row. And <laughs> for our standards at the moment, that is uh, something that can be a little bit unexpected, I think it's fair to say. And that's not ironic to say at all. Now, unfortunately, we block the route for that red to the middle. So let's have a look if we've got anything else on. We have got this tight red onto the bottom pocket, which will probably make a bit more sense. Although, positionally, it leaves us a bit of a struggle. So, unless we uh, get on this black, which, again, is a little bit uh, based on luck. But let's see if we can get the pot first and foremost. It's there. Now, we're not on the black, but there is a way through to the pink. Which could go to the top pocket, or maybe even the middle. I think the middle is probably a better one to go for here. <clears throat> It'll definitely cut into the middle. There's no problem with that. Just whether we've got the accuracy to get it in the middle. Of course, those middle pockets, they rely so much on just being so accurate. Because if you're a little bit off and you hit one of the jaws the of the pocket, pocket. it's not going to go. But we'll know as soon as it makes contact whether it's going to go or that, and that looks like it's pretty much middled in the pocket. It's a so good pot. Great technique, superb queuing. Now, there's a few reds available here, and it seems we're off to a half decent start. You can tell how badly I've been playing that I'm getting enthusiastic at sort of a 20 30 break. But, you know, considering we've not been playing very well at the moment, this is positive. Ah, just sipping the uh, apple juice there. I've got two drinks, unbelievable, isn't it? Living the, the high life. But uh, unless we can sort of backspin a little bit and get decent on this uh, red that's quite a way away from the others, the one I'm sort of, well, I'll just show you, this one. Um, yeah, and guess we can, unless we can screw back a little bit for that, there's no real position after this blue, but this seems like the best shot to play. So in light of that, we will play this blue. And it's there, and that's not bad positionally at all. That's just exactly where I wanted it to go. Again, for those of you who don't know, I've never played snooker in real life, so the positional part of the game is a little bit trickier for me. Um, I do watch quite a bit of snooker, so that should help, I suppose, but sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but we're off to a decent start here. I know I keep saying this, uh, but I think our luck might run out at some point, to be honest. But, you know, a 30-odd break again. It's solid. We won't uh, dispute it. But there's actually a way through, I think, uh, to a red. So that's always good. You, you just get some luck sometimes. The black air commission, as I said, well, I haven't said, but oh, as is fairly noticeable, corner. the black air commission. But uh, that doesn't seem to be proving a problem at the moment. There. Really good. And the commentators seem to be liking this. This isn't too bad. But I'm going to go for the yellow on this occasion, just so we can stay on the table. I think that's a fair thing to do. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. And it's there. Now, what's the screw back looking like on this? There's no real perfect shot here. So this might be the end of break. Looks like it could well be. Got a magic something here for us to stay on the table. So I think it's just going to be a safety. And we're going to play it up behind this red. A little bit harder than intended, but no problem there. Neil Robertson. And we should be safe. He's using the rest here, which makes it a little more challenging. Interesting shot there from uh, from Georgiou. Gets it back up the top of the table to the ball cushion. Again, nothing on, I don't think, here. So just a simple safety. <clears throat> well, I say simple. It's nothing simple in this world, is it? That's probably the best shot for us here. Yeah, we'll tight that. And if this is uh, decently on the cushion, seems a little bit hard, actually. But we are fine. Not quite on the bulk cushion, but certainly within the gaggle of the bulk colours. But uh, no points given away yet to Georgiou. And another safety shot from him there. What's this one like? It might well give away this red. It does. And that, I have to say, is going to be a real disappointment for him. He'll know that we're not playing well at the moment um, and that he could take advantage. Chance, but but equally, this less. could be a game where we come back to resurgence. I mean, what was that? Unlucky, I think, to be honest, because we were... <clears throat> Sorry, I've got the blooming... I've got a cough all of them. got like a tickly cough. But uh, we were through on the pink or one of the bulk colours and then we made contact with that red to make this uh, 
lot of very much a lot harder. Which is annoying to say the least, but we're just going to get on with it here. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. That's a good pot. Another great long pot. They certainly like the look of that. And that one's just about on. We've got a little bit lucky. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? And it's there. Positionally not great, but that wasn't really the plan with that shot. Just to make sure we got the pot. This leaves a tricky pot on whatever we want here. So the green might be the easiest one to play here. But a good start here so far. Green's there, perfect. Way too hard on the queue, and unless we get away with it, we might do. Well, we got away with that. I was planning to be sort of by the blue almost, now position on that red on the cushion. <clears throat> well, that didn't happen. Apologies about the dog in the background. Probably they recorded at the right at the wrong time, just going like a barn pot out there. But another red dispatched. Are we positioning on the pink? I think you have to say we've been very lucky so far. This framer won't uh, hide away from that fact. I mean, it's very fair enough to say that. Well, but pot this pink. This uh, another another two point. reds, and it's frame over. So That's we'll take that. But once again, a, a precarious position really here. Impressive queuing. Very impressive queuing, I don't see how. This is an easy. I mean, we can cut this into the middle, but that's a very tricky shot. Now, will this go past the black into the middle? I think it will. Got to get this just right. I don't think it does, actually. Let's think about the angle we need. No, I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Hmm, it's a tricky one. Let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, we, we, we kind of overcompensated there because we thought mm, it might not get past the black. So we played the shot a bit rigidly there. But no real problem. Uh, George, you can get back into the frame. But nice unless he gets sort of a maximum of what's on the table, which he is at the moment with the black. Um, and he might well run around the black. Um, again, he's we're not really going to have a problem unless he does that. Very bizarre position though here. This is no gimmick. Doesn't look bad, but it's a little bit off. Yeah, I could tell that. And with this red, I think, yeah, 40 ahead, 51 remaining. So with this red and the colour, this will be the frame. Red's there, good pot. Not perfectly on the black again, the dog going mad, apologies. You might not be able to hear it actually on the mic. I don't know if it cuts that sort of thing out. But I can certainly hear it clear as day. I'm glad we don't need the other red because it's in a nasty position. But of course, the mathematics, you know, the maximum you can get, of course, is 147. There's been a uh, score over 73 scored, if you like, um, you know, 79. So, again, for him to catch up, 47 he'd need, which makes the total score 79 plus 40 odd. Again, it needs 120 odd. And with the colours that have been potted, I'd don't think that that would be the maximum break. So, again, I think the frame is ours. This red would certainly help. It's what there. Pot that is. They hey. seem to like that one, don't they? Give this one a thump. Into the right corner. That'll do. He's finished a little bit awkward here, but yeah, it is awkward. Really Might have even snookered. Uh, no, I don't think we have snookered ourselves. We'll have a look. 14. No, we haven't, so that's fine. But again, the frames are just playing on until uh, we miss, if you like, so that Georgie will concede. Not exactly the greatest double attempt there, but I'll take it because we would get the snooker on him if it was in open play. Well, he's got it. Great shot. But he's 19 more behind than he needs to be the required amount remaining. So we take the first frame, and that's positive. Good stuff. So we have to break off in the second frame. I'm very happy with that because in that frame, we didn't really face any opposition. Uh, whereas in previous ones, of course, we have. Have I got the window open? Oh, yeah, that probably doesn't help, does it? I'm not going to cut this out. I'll just close the window. That will uh, properly muffle the sound of whatever's going out on outside. I mean, the other week, we had a video where there was building work going on outside. So 
all very dramatic, but nonetheless. There is a long red on, is there here? No, there's not. I didn't think there was. And he's right. Alright, calm down, fault. Uh, fault. Calm down, Hendon. Yeah, just going to play very thin off the pack, and then bring it back off the table. Uh, back up the table, even off two cushions. And that is not bad at all. Very much in line with the bulk cushion. And in fact, it might even be on the bulk cushions. So that's a good shot. He's taking this on. He's going for the pot here. Fair play to him if he gets it, and he does. Well, could be off to a good start here. Fair play to him. You know, it was a long pot. It's pretty straight, fair enough, but he's already out of position. So it might be a good safety here, or something else. Let's have a look what he's played. He's got it back up to the bulk cushion successfully, but because it's hit the, the uh, yellow, he's not got the snooker that perhaps he might have got. So, a little bit like a break-off shot here, but a little bit further up the table, so it requires just a little bit more power. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? We're okay, I think. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Well, it goes Georgia, of course, with the two pots so far. We haven't registered one yet, but that's no problem. The ball's all starting to move a bit now, and because he's uh, whacked that yellow, um, it does leave us position on this red. But we'll screw back because there's no good being down there. No more than half a chance here. Need to be right on target, and we are. A tremendous pot. We'll take that. One. Now do we go with the blue? Yeah, I think we will. Uh, it doesn't really leave anything on, though, I suppose, does it? Unless we play soft and hope we get position on something. Oh, that might have missed. It's there. Whew, sigh of relief. But no position, to be honest. Again, it was going to be tricky to get position from where we were queuing from. But, hmm, hello. You don't know if anything will go if you don't look. Uh, no, I don't think it will. It would go into the tight amounts of the pocket, but you just end up over compromising, I think, with those shots. So, in line with that, it's just a safety here. He won't want to and uh, hopefully, up and down the table, it will be. Real problem with that safety. Ball's in a bit of a weird position at the moment. They're all quite still clustered together, even though that a lot of them have moved away from their original form. An and uh, David Hendon likes that. And, uh, of course, Neil Folds, the commentary team. Not really listened to a lot of their commentary. Because, of course, a lot of the game I play, I play with you guys. So, don't really listen inherently on their commentary. He's the pot but another long red here. Again, screw back to get out of there. Brilliant. That's a bit better than the last time, actually. Issue is, though, again, we can get the straight blue, no problem. Uh, does the pink go here? That might be a good opportunity. No, I don't want to risk it. He could be in trouble. Again, there's... Uh, unfortunately, there isn't really any way to get any position, so we're just going to have to try and fluke something here and hope that uh, something comes that we haven't seen. But we've got the pots. So that's points on the table. I might have seen something here. Having that red goes, doesn't it? It certainly does. And again, you know, you see something, and sometimes it just looks good. And it's there. Good pot. We've escaped the reds as well, so back up the table. That's a good, efficient shot, that was. Good stuff. Still going to be a tricky one, though, to find any position now. Really tricky. I have to try and screw back and see what comes when we come back down the table. But of course, points mean prize at the end of the day. The more points you get, the better. Even if it's not high breaks. You know, if you can get a pot and you perhaps risk position a little bit, uh, but still in the hope that you might get a pot like this one that's on. Going to have to play a bit of right hand side. So I don't want the cue ball to follow into the pocket, but we don't want it really that much. Well, we're going to have to. We can't avoid hitting this red, unfortunately. This is Let's go for the pot. Good pot. pot. And that hasn't worked out too badly, has it? Top shot. It could have been nice position on the pink, but I think that red might interrupt now. No, it's okay, actually. 
But I have a little bit left hand side. This won't be easy. Certainly not easy, but we're good at the long pots. And on that occasion we were as well. And the reason I play a bit of left hand side is that ball up the bulk cushion, or close to it, uh, is potable. So we might as well have a go at it. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. A little bit harder than I wanted to, but it's still there. It's a good pot. 19. And now we've got the ball rolling a little bit. This is good to see. Blue will do here. Well, no Certainly would do. With the long pot attempt. And that's a good blue. Ooh, a little bit long on the cue. Not the shot he was aiming for there. No, it wasn't. If we'd have pulled up a little bit earlier, we would have been on this red that we can't quite get to. Uh, we're not on anything here. That's the unfortunate bit. I want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. No, I wasn't planning on getting it close to the cushion, really, there. Just giving it a tap. Because I don't think anything's on. And Well, he could play that. That's never a shot I'd take on, particularly the aiming aid here, but... I know it sounds stupid, but the pros can get those shots. Whereas an, a human player, I don't think can. Um, with much ease anyway. You know, the aiming aid makes those very tricky. So, if I was playing against another human, that would have been a lot easier to leave on. Uh, but we did, and it, he potted it. But amazingly, he's, he's missed that straight red. Really amazing. And, uh, you know, against the top players, I've said this time and time again, but we need to make sure we're not making those some sorts of mistakes. But... It's clear against someone like Georgiou, they will give you one or two chances. Whereas, you know, your top players, I don't know what I thought of Stuart Bingham that's come to my head. Uh, but your Ronnie's, your probably not Neil Robertson's, uh, your, you know, your Ronnie O'Sullivan's, all those sorts of players won't give you a second chance. Blame with the rest here. And that pink's has been dispatched and that's fine. But because there's a few less reds now, the position is a little bit more free. And uh, that's going to be a decent chance, isn't it? And it looks like, as we stand, it's going to be 2-0 uh, to us. We've been in this position before and lost, though, so we can't get complacent. We really have been in that position. If you don't think I'm telling the truth, um, just go back to some of our previous content on the game. We've had some horrible matches where we've been 2-0 up and lost. Now, this needs to pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, we can still get that into the top pocket, actually. Yep, yeah, that's fine. No real issue there. And there's another point on the table. Now, the pink should go here. 14. We'll soon know as we get down to play it. Let's have a look at it from this view. It doesn't. Ooh. Disappointing. Well, this blue's a little bit of a risky one because uh, they do tend to be tricky into this middle, but we're going to go for it. But it's there. Now, yeah, keep going a little... Mm, no, we've sacrificed position a little bit there in that. But two decent frames. If you compare it to my last few videos, um, it's a lot better than what we've done there. So that's positive. This being a tricky shot. And it's going to be a little bit off, so just give Michael plenty of chance to get back into this now, which is a bit of a risk. As you can see, he's got 32 points to play with, but he's just broke those away from each other. Trying to play a safety there, I think. <laughs> I say I think because I'm not really sure, uh, but he certainly has got the ball safe. That's a fair play to him. Going to get down and play this. Got to be careful of the cue button. The problem when you put too much side on these things. Oh, want to get a little bit of side because the problem is we don't want it going into that corner pocket. Even if we do pop the the red, I'm talking about the cue ball of course, going into that corner pocket. And it's still kind of lined up to go in, that's the problem. So this just might not be a shot to play. I don't can get a nick on anything. Again, that might not be a bad idea, as long as it doesn't hit the black coming back up. Oh, that should be fine, actually. 
Mm, bit of a precarious safety, you could argue. Oh, we hit the red on the way back up. That's what we really didn't want to do. Oh. If we hadn't, we'd have been pretty much safe on the bulk cushion. But because we hit the red, it slowed it down massively and left a gaping red uh, in the middle pocket. One. Well, mistakes creep in. We're bound to make one or two. Four. At the end of the day, we've only had this game a fortnight. Still getting used to it. Five. But a few mistakes trickling in. And Michael could still take this frame. Eleven. Twelve. He just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. Eighteen. Nineteen. Doing well here, isn't he? Even he's well on that red. He's mm. the left corner pocket. This is very much dependent, I would say, on how the frame goes, and he's potted it. The yellow is a very tricky shot, but it looks like he's going to try and get in position for that. Just the Five points remain. behind now with 27 remaining, and he's now made that three points with 25. He's come back in this frame, well, he's looking at and it's been a good break. And that puts the scores level with 22 remaining. He's going to get this brown. I'd say it's advantage Michael, but he's just missed it. Well, as the pressure got to him. I have to say, it might well have done. That's disappointing. We need to pop this, though. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Tricky angle, but it's there. Get past, whew, get past the pink. Get the blue. Get the pink and it's 2 0 us. And we can breathe. Four. This really is a great opportunity. Pink. Uh, blue's there. Pink should be straight. No worries about position on the black. And that is the frame for us. And he's very unlucky there. Very unlucky for Michael. And we nearly got the double on the black. But I wasn't too fussed about that. I just want to get on with it now. And that puts us two frames to the good in the first round of the European Masters. And, the frame near and that's good stuff. It's been a long time since we've uh, won a game without any reply. But not expecting that. You know, it's... Michael Georgiou could still come back and win this free too. That's the cup of tea consumed now. So a bit of caffeine for this. What could be the last frame? It's taking a bit of time over the break, isn't he? And it's not a terrible one by any means. But he does leave this long red. And we're going to try and whack it. He's taking this red on. It's a risk if it doesn't go in. Oh, well, we've missed it. I said it was a risk if it didn't go in, but we've got that two-frame advantage. I wouldn't play it if I hadn't got a two-frame advantage. It's just one of those shots that sometimes... It's a bit of an exhibition shot and you fancy it, but... A little bit hard and a little bit off there, so... Based off how Georgiou played, he's got a chance from that last frame, but really mucked that one up with how he played the black there. But he hasn't really given us much more, so fair play to him. Ooh. Tricky now. I think he's playing safe here. Yeah, it's just gonna have to be a safety, isn't it? And this red gives us a good opportunity to play safe actually. I don't know why we got side on it all of a sudden, did I oh I put side on it before I think I must have done. But yeah, we'll type that. Up the table and hopefully we're safe. Oh, is that long red on now? I think it is. Tricky shot here. Yeah, it is. He's but he's missed it. it, and he's opened up a few reds. This is an opportunity for us to win three on the bounce. It's not left anything obvious, which is unfortunate. But in this game, with the professionals, you're never going to leave anything obvious unless you just play a absolute tanker of a shot. And this doesn't look too bad. It's there, and that's our first pot of the frame. Hopefully the first of many. One. 
Now, I think Brown's the shot of choice here. Now, can we get some screw into these balls? Possibly not. No. Want to be careful that we don't uh, miss the pot. That'll do. Hopefully one or two reds, see what we can do. Not a lot it seems, but funnily enough we are on the red down the top of the t at the top of the table on the top cushion, so a little bit lucky there. Get some screw back hopefully onto the black. Good pot, and we are on the black, so could be a decent start. Need to probably look at developing the reds, arguably. This should do it. Hmm. Can't really play of any top, so we're just right on, right on the cue ball running here. Good pot. And, Loose ooh, shot. do we open something? I'm not sure, we're going to have to have a look. Is there a potting opportunity? Don't think there is, but I might be wrong. 13. No. Oh, that is a very precarious shot. Oh, hello. I completely missed you. This really is tricky. Oh, don't want to get down and play it just yet. To be fair, I think that angle might not have been far off. That doesn't look too bad, but it's just going to miss. Oh, dear. Unfortunate, we wouldn't have really been on anything. But, you know, nonetheless, we could have manufactured something. He's going for this one into the middle, and he's got it. Sometimes these balls just fall there you want them to, and sometimes they don't. But that's a pink there, and he'll go on for another break here. He'd be unlucky to lose another frame, because apart from the first frame, I don't think we played our best. <laughs> you could argue from the last few episodes, our best hasn't been great anyway. And there's the phone. Right, well, we're back. Georgia must have missed. I think he missed a, a green. I can't quite remember that. It's been a few minutes, but uh, he must have missed the green. And uh, just looking at this one into the the bottom, and it should be there. Fine, it is. Where's the cue ball? Again, should be okay. Fine form. I don't know. You've been watching folds. Don't know who's it. As I say, I don't know who's in fine form. Can't be us. <laughs> Maybe getting one or two pots, but certainly nothing fantastic. And uh, we've got no real position here. Well, we could try and play this red. <clears throat> safety could be a possibility, but I'm not exactly a big safety man. Half a chance here. Half a chance, isn't it? So we might go for it. And this looks pretty good, and it's there. Oh, if we'd have run it a little bit slower, it would have been on the black. But can we get out of this and get on a bulk colour? Well, we'll certainly take the pink here. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Ooh, tight. The long pot's on, and he's going for it. Could decide the frame, this. And it's there, what a cracker. Position not bad on this long red. We'll certainly take it. But this red will go as well, I think. Although you could argue the longer red into the corner, which we were looking for before, would be better on the black. But we've not ended up too badly on a colour. We'll certainly take that. The blue's up in the bulk end, so we can take that shot. And this should just be a nice, uh, a nice route to winning the match in three straight frames. An unorthodox way to do it. I can appreciate that. Second frame, he got a bit unlucky, but here we should try our best um, to clean up completely. We've got about the blue, of course, because the ah, the pink spot's being used. Uh, the blue spot's being used rather by the pink. Oh, that's gutting, isn't it? Well, again, another half chance. I can't get over there. Ah, well, looks good. It's there. Not bad at potting these. right on top of his game at the moment. Now, hmm, let's get this uh, pink off the blue spot, shall we? If we can pot it, that is. It's a tricky one, but it's there. 
But of course, we've got to get a pot on the blue for it to move. Now, if that was a little bit quicker, we would have been nicely and whacked into those reds, but poor there. So it just almost requires... Are we touching ball? No, we're not quite touching ball. So it just requires a little tap on these reds. Neil Robertson, 26. And that wasn't too bad. We won't complain. He might go for the double here. He just might go for the safety, which he has done. He's just looking at the fact we might leave a red on, mightn't we, if uh, we play a dodgy safety here. This looks to be a pretty simple safety here. Now, I'm praying that this comes up behind the yellow or the green. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. Doesn't look too bad at all. Ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Uh, I think we've got the snooker. No. Oh, it just passed the yellow. But he's going for the safety, surprisingly. Has he got safety? I don't think he has. He didn't leave on the easiest of pots here. But I don't mind looking at this red. Half a chance. Too far. See that straight really away. Close, Too far. And the problem is, I think what happens with us is that we go for these pots, so but don't consider, well, if we miss, pocket. how can we get safe? But that's a poor miss there from him. Really poor miss. I mean, he's just left us straight on here. We're not going to complain. We'll take it on, and it's there. If this pulls up, are we on the pink? Maybe try and negotiate these reds. And uh, no, it's not going to happen, so we're going to have to take the pink and see what we come out. This into the right corner. Weird things have happened in terms of position. Got to get the pot though first. It's there. Where's the red ball going? Where's the red ball? It's way too quick. It's going to go in. Really oh, really well. well. The blue went in as well. Goodness me. Foul. Neil Robertson, one. Potted both of them. Six. Never seen it. Well. If you're playing a trick shot, a free ball pot wouldn't be that bad, but blimey. Deary me. If you saw that from the start, fair play to you. I really didn't, as you probably could have told. And uh, this lets Mark Michael Georgiou back in this third frame. This is key. It's a close one, isn't it? 14. But he's not on anything here. Uh, it might be into the middle. Here. No, he's really not going to bother. Michael Georgiou, 14. Every shot's enough in here. This is an easy... Ho, 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 ho! What a pot! Excellent positional play there. Inch perfect. We'll certainly take that. One. Now, the pink could be a cracking positional shot here. It looks like it might well be. Got to get the pot, though, Just first. Just to sink this into the left corner pocket. And I'm rubbish at my positional shots, but I know this should be half decent on the red, but where's the pink? Oh, it's in. And that is possibly the worst positional shot that anybody in the history of Snook has ever played. Seven. The blue, it won't be the frame, will it? What am I on about? Oh, red looks half decent, and it's there. We can do with the black, and that is really nicely on the black. 48 compared to 29, so this seven points will give us, what, a 26-point lead. So only the yellow then would be required for us to win this match. Good black. How's the yellow looking? If this green doesn't come back and provide us with a problem, it looks pretty decent. Now, I think we've been feeling pretty lucky today. I might just be pessimistic. I'm not sure. So, but I think we've been a bit lucky. Got to pot this yellow. But now it takes it to him having to get snookers. Or we are through the first round. No, I might be wrong. I might be being harsh on myself. But I think we've been a little bit uh, fortunate today. That's a poor pot. Missed pot but it yeah. Won't He'll play on. Well, he reckons it won't matter, but there are three points, the difference. So let's see if he does play on. No more than half he will. He'll play on. I don't blame him. Shall we see if he gets the snooker? Not quite. Might as well just give this a bash, see what happens. Ooh, nearly got the pot there. But really, you could argue, how's he going to get out of this? Can't not pop this ball now. We might have even got a snooker on him, not sure. I don't think we have. Can't tell where, where the pink is. This could be no, we haven't. To he's going to have to go for the pot here. He can't play it that soft, surely, that he's going to... Well, fair play to him. 
Well, it's touching ball. He's played that very well. Now let's try and snooker him behind the, behind the, uh, behind the brown. No, it's never going to happen. But if he can get onto this green again and be touching ball, that's remarkable. Because it's only so much that this green will push. Oh, he's taking the pot here. I think that was way too hard for him to uh, even bother with that. So he's gone for the pot. But unless he plays some outrageous safeties, he's going to be out of this. Going to go a bit of a finer cut here. No more than half a chance here. Looks good. And it's there. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous pot. Oh, well, I like that pot, don't they? And that pretty much ends Georgiou's chance. We're nicely on the blue. So this and this all but confirms our place in the second round. That's a good pot. Terrible on the pink. But we can take it on, can't we? We don't need this, so not bothered if he doesn't go in. It's not too far off, to be fair. But with that uh, third frame, we've won it. And we are ahead. And, of course... It's an unassailable lead with the best of five. Three frames, first to three, and we have got all those three frames. Michael Georgiou not even replying there. And in the first round of the Masters, the European Masters in Lommel, we have won. Good start to the tournament. Let's see who we've got next. Then I'll round off for today. Hmm, I wonder, good match that was. Again, not the, not the most flashy snooker, but Georgiou not playing well either, so we take advantage of that. And sometimes it's all about just getting through. So it's Yan Bing Tao who we play next in the second round. We have had a history against him before. Uh, history against him before. We have played against him before. We've got a history against him. Uh, we did play him in the last tournament, I believe. It was the uh, China Championship. And we did beat him there. So that's a good omen. Let's see if we can get past the, uh, the second round for the first time since the Portland Classic. So we play against Yan Bing Tao for the first time um, in this tournament tomorrow. Again, a second time in his career mode, and that'll be episode 16. It'll be out, of course, as it is every other day at 6pm. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment as well of what you thought, and subscribe for daily Snooker 19 content. Make sure to click on any of the elements of the end screen to continue your journey, your journey, your journey, your journey here at TIJ Gaming. But apart from that, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.